prolonged unresolved tyranny at home, stressful working conditions, why smoking and coffee abuse and saturated fats frequently make things worse have been the consistent theme of my videos. In Sydney, I was recommended strongly by my neurologist around 2004 to take warfarin and to place a brick under my bed to help my MS without further explanation other than it would frequently prevent strokes better than the aspirin I was taking as anticoagulant. Though frequent falling and my preference to green vegetables to fulfil my mother's wishes would have made this rat poison difficult to manage. The idea that cold made my muscles contract and piss more and heat made me tired was grinned at and then dismissed by the majority of neurologists I have consulted in the many countries I have lived. That MS is a result of an unhealthy life hygiene so common in our Western culture make this umbrella of disease conditions difficult to, to trace. But now, Dr. Sabonis CCSVI, chronic cerebral spinal venous insufficiency, is a most likely explanation for a disease which has perplexed neurologists for the 125 years since Charcot first defined the condition.